Okay, I've got a vinyl that's uh, two inches wide by 15 inches long with a line ruled down the center. And I'm just going to cut down that center. Now I'm going to get my double sided tape down the center and peel that off and then I'm going to get my other piece and I'm going to stick the two wrong sides together. Making sure they're nice and straight. Okay, and now when I've got the two pieces stuck together, I'm just going to top stitch all the way around those edges. If there's any little bits that aren't matching up 100%, just give them a little trim. Get to the end, pivot, pivot, and away we go again. Pivot again, and this time we're going to lock in those stitches with back stitch. Okay. that edge looking pretty okay and there we have our strap okay now I've got my strap and I've got my little rivet here which is a four mil by nine so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my slide my swivel clip and I'm going to fold it over like that and then I'm going to fold the other edge over like that and line them up and then I'm going to hole punch and put a rivet in. You can you can just sew that close if you want but let's just put our post in Our cap on and put it on the press and put the squish. There you have it. That's our strap. And then with our zip, you just take it and then it will attach to our zip head. Lovely. So the machine has just tacked down my vinyl accents so I'm just going to trim off the excess here now it's going to just do a tuck down I'm just going to go all the way around the pieces And now we're starting the windows. Now I've chosen to do full embroidery for my windows, but this file does include the placement stitch and tack down if you want to do applique, and then you just eliminate this step, which is the fill, and go right to the top stitch. So we've embroidered our panels and cut them down to the edges and then I've just traced a piece of fabric exactly the same size which is going to be my lining and then I've got another piece which is 7 inches by 10 which is going to be my zipper pocket 
So I folded that in half and pressed it and then on the bottom half I've ruled where my zip is going to go. Take one of our side panels going to place the excess face up I'm going to just pop that there and I'm going to stitch around the line. The line that I'm sewing is for the top part of the zip is one inch from here. Let's put on a smaller stitch length. Pivot. Pivot. it again and that stitch. Cut off my ends there. Now I'm just going to cut down the center of that line there, that box that I made. And in the corners, I'm going to make a V shape. And then I'm going to push that through the hole. give that a quick press just to hold it in place nicely. There we have a nice clean zipper hole. Okay so now we're going to sew in the zip so we're laying it down so our zip pocket is at the back we're going to center up our zip make sure I'm not sewing over the uh, little silver tab thing And back stitch, spin it around, I'm just going to move my zipper head out of the way. Make sure you're not stitching anything you shouldn't be stitching. Cross the zip. Spin it around. And back stitch. Now our zip is in. Now, so I don't forget, <clears throat> I'm just going to cut off that little bit of extra zip there and there. Okay, now we are ready to construct our pouch. So we have our front panel embroidered, we have our back panel embroidered, and we have our two lining pieces ready so now the internal pocket is in there and I've got my zip ready I've just added little zipper tabs at each end and I've made sure that it ends about a quarter of an inch before the end of the lining piece so I'm just going to close up the sides of the zipper pocket at the back. I'm not going to close the bottom in though because that's where I'm going to turn the bag through later. 
just through the quarter inch seam allowance. Just going to go straight down the edge. Cut off my ends. And then again on the other side, exactly the same thing on the pocket. Line up the edges. Make sure the lining panel is out of the way when I'm sewing. Okay. Trim off my ends. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take my lining panel, one side, and I'm going to take the front panel and I'm going to lie my lining side up, zipper side up, and then I'm going to clip my front panel on top. Now I'm going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance down there, but see how my zipper tab starts there? That's where I'm going to start sewing. So I'm going to start just here. I'm not actually going to start sewing right on the end. I only want to start sewing on the edge of the zipper tab and I'm going to finish at the edge of the zipper tab as well. Now I'm going to open that up, so I've got the seam bulk on this side and starting with the zipper tabbies, I'm going to stitch all the way down the edge using a larger stitch length. Make sure that's folded the right way. And finish on the zipper tab and back stitch. Okay, so now let's trim off those ends. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side. So I've got my lining with my zipper pocket, and I'm going to put that side up. Then I'm going to put my zipper on, face up, and again I'm going to pin that or clip that in place about a quarter of an inch on each side. Oop. Let's see. Just so it's in the center and you will have about a quarter of an inch on each side. on all right and then we're going to take our back panel and put it face down I'm going to do it from this direction because my clips need to go that way Okay, so again, we've got that in there, and that's about a quarter of an inch from the edge on both sides, and we're going to start at the zipper tab and go to the other zipper tab. Back stitch. 
make sure everything's flat under there. Open it up and then again the same thing so we're going to put everything to the right hand side and we're going to press the bulk down to the left. We're going to use our largest stitch length and starting with the zipper taboos. Okay, Woo. so there we have it. So now, this is what we've got. Okay, both ends. Now, when we turn it over, see how pretty that looks? All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to take our two lining sides start with our okay let's start with these sides and then see how those edges are folding over because of how we sewed everything there that's fine but I am going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the edge starting here starting right here at the top not on the zipper tabs next to the zipper tab so just up here and I'm going to sew all the way around and then I'm going to stop here so I'm just going to put a couple of clips on there just to kind of make sure it doesn't move at all I'm going to start right at the very top I'm using our joining stitch lengths. Make sure they are even. Make sure your vinyl pieces on the inside are lining up because you want them to line up properly. And then again, we'll do exactly the same thing here. And then we'll stitch. I'm going to go right up to the top. If I have to hand crank the next couple of stitches, I will. And once I'm on top, I can just go back. All right. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other side. So I'm going to line up my lining pieces, starting at the side. I actually go. from bottom to top, which will, I think, make it a little bit easier getting into that corner over there. Then along the bottom, and then we're gonna do the same thing along the side. So 
remember we're using a quarter inch seam allowance. Waving down together. All right. Now, see how I've gotten. Oh, let's look better on this side. See how I've managed to sew right up to the top, but my zipper tab's there. And I've done that on the other side as well. So that's fantastic. So now, when we turn things through, if. Oh, guess what we forgot to do? Open our zipper pocket. That's okay. This one's an easy one to make sure you open your zipper pocket first. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to cut away some bulk here on the corners just to help it sit nice. And I'm just going to trim a little bit of that bulk. Look that vinyl is there. And on this side, making a bit of a mess. Anything that doesn't have to be there, I'm going to get rid of to help. All right. So now I'm just going to reach in through that. Okay. And turn it through. need a little turning tool or something to help push out those corners. Okay. And then go to the ends here and we pop them up. Now you'll see because we didn't sew over Now, you'll see that at the edge of my zips, my little zipper tab has popped out really nicely. So it's given me a really nice clean edge. Okay, I'm gonna reach inside the zip pocket. We're gonna pull that out. Using our fingers, we're just gonna turn in the bottom edge. Like that, just turning in the raw edges and then I'm just going to squish them together when they're even and I'm just going to sew straight down that line nice and close to the edge back in, stretch out your lining, and where's my strap gone? And then, see on the inside we've got a nice clean lining, nice zipper pocket, see? And then I'm going to take my strap that we made earlier and put it on, and voila, it's done. That is how you make a little hippie van this way. I hope you like this video.
Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this page and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is released.